psoriasis is a chronic skin problem stemming from an immune disorder and it has been gaining popularity recently because celebrities like Kim Kardashian, Liam Gallagher who was the former frontman of the famous rock band Oasis have come forth with their problem. So slowly and gradually awareness has been increasing about this condition. However, I still wouldn't be surprised if you have not heard of it because only 0.4 to 2.8% of Indians have this condition. So today, I want to talk about certain common questions that are asked about it from my patients. They ask me, what is psoriasis? Why does it happen? Can it spread to somebody else? Then how is it different from dandruff which is there on the scalp? And today, I'm here to clarify those doubts for you and answer these questions. I'm Dr. Sujit Shanshanwal. I'm a consultant dermatologist and medical director at Skinama Clinic. And today, I'll be talking about psoriasis. So let's start with what is psoriasis? Now the term psoriasis has been derived from the Greek word sora, which means to itch. The term psoriasis was coined by Ferdinand Hebra in 1841. Psoriasis is a condition in which it was found that the skin starts forming 10 times faster compared to the normal skin. Now what happens is in psoriasis, there is a defect in the immune system in the skin of the affected patch areas because of which skin starts forming much faster and that leads to formation of thick patches with flakes accumulated. Now this can happen anywhere on the body but the commonly affected areas are the elbows, lower back, knees and scalp. Apart from that it can happen in any part of the body including the nails. Now psoriasis is a condition which is not contagious. It cannot be transmitted by contact to somebody else. Now even though it is not contagious, it may be seen in other members of the family. If they are blood relatives and the same genes are running in the family, we might have somebody else also affected with the same issue. Apart from skin, sometimes joints are also involved in psoriasis. Now let's talk about why does psoriasis happen. Now what is known to happen in psoriasis is that the immune system forms functioning in a faulty manner because of which the skin in the affected area starts multiplying and replicating at a much faster rate. So normally the skin is replaced every three to four weeks but because of this condition the replacement happens just within three to four days. So the skin is forming at a much accelerated rate. And because of this fast pace of skin formation, the layers that form from below and comes to the top, they do not bind together and proper skin formation process does not take place. Because of which, there is excess skin that keeps accumulating and it is loose and scales are seen on the surface along with the thickened patch. So this is the problem that happens with the formation of skin in psoriasis. Now, there is a genetic role to play and people if there is a family history they would be more prone now it is not necessary that it will be passed down each generation you can have that in a family the grandfather and the grandson may be affected and the parents may not be affected by its condition so sometimes it is also known to skip a generation the psoriasis even though the tendency is present it may not necessarily be present all the time so there are certain triggering factors which are known to precipitate the onset of psoriasis. Now, if a person is having emotional stress or if a patient suffered from a streptococcal throat infection or if the patient has been on certain medications for blood pressure like beta blockers or on certain anti-malarials, these things can lead to precipitation of the condition. Now in psoriasis, patients who have the tendency and the immune system is prone for this malfunctioning. If there is any injury, any cut or any surgery, at that point, the immune system can start behaving in a faulty manner and lead to formation of the psoriasis patch in those areas. Now let's talk about what are the symptoms of psoriasis, that how would it appear? On the skin, psoriasis patches can appear red and thickened with whitish silvery scales on the surface. If psoriasis patches are present on the palms and soles, you may notice dry cracked skin which can even bleed sometimes. 
If the psoriasis is present on the nails, you may notice roughness of the nails or tiny pits onto the nail surface. If psoriasis is affecting your joints, you may notice that they are swollen, painful and rigid. On the scalp, psoriasis can present with flakiness and scales that may be seen. Now when it happens on the scalp, patients are often confused whether is it just regular dandruff or is it a development of psoriasis. So there are certain common differences between the two. Now dandruff is something that happens because of greasiness on the scalp, because of the sebaceous activity, because of the fungal activity on the scalp surface. However, dandruff may increase a bit temporarily and come under control by using a shampoo, an anti-dandruff shampoo. Psoriasis on the other hand tends to persist for a longer time and may not just come in control with the use of a shampoo. Also, with dandruff, you tend to notice tiny flakes either on the shoulders or on your back and they are tiny, fine scales. Whereas in psoriasis, you tend to notice relatively thicker, bigger scales on the scalp skin. Apart from that, dandruff would not lead to flakiness on the forehead area or on the neck area. Whereas in psoriasis, the skin involvement can lead to flakiness even on the forehead skin or on the neck beyond the hairline area. So these are some features which can help us distinguish whether is it just your regular dandruff or is it something more sinister that is developing onto the scalp skin. Is psoriasis curable is a question that patients often want an answer to. Now psoriasis is a condition that can be effectively managed. With limited involvement, it can be managed with the use of creams or if there is more extensive involvement, stronger medication options are also available. However, cure would not be possible because it is an inherent tendency for which leads to the immune system malfunctioning. But the presentation of the symptoms can be effectively controlled and the patient can have a normal lifestyle and the patches can be brought completely under control. So to bring this session at a concluding end, I hope it was helpful and it gave you a better understanding about psoriasis and it would also make you a bit more empathetic about the problem when you know somebody suffering from it. If you have psoriasis or you know somebody who has psoriasis, it is important that you meet a dermatologist, get your diagnosis confirmed and discuss about what are the best treatment options available and how together by coming up with a treatment plan we can ensure that the patient can have a normal life without the activity of psoriasis being present in the body. But before you go, in the comment section, drop a message regarding how your understanding of psoriasis was improved by this session. Also, if you have any questions, please feel free to post them down. And if there's any topic recommendations that you'd like to know more about, kindly note those down as well and we will have our experts come back to you with the best information that we can. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Man Matters. Stay home, stay safe, take care.